The Abuja Archdiocesan Lady Council has organized her second annual general meeting. The meeting, which drew participants from the various deaneries of the Archdiocese, also had the Chief Shepherd of the Archdiocese, Most Reverend Ignatius K. Gama, in attendance. CTV News was present. The Lady is a major part of the Catholic Church and contributes to the success of the mission of the Church in the second annual general meeting of Abuja Archdiocese and Lady Council brought together delegates from the various parishes who converged at Daughters of Divine Love Conference Center, Drak Lugbe Abuja. His Grace, Most Reverend Ignatius Kaigama, Catholic Archbishop of Abuja, said the Holy Mass that commenced the meeting. In his homily, the Chief Shepherd charged the delegates to know and to be responsible for the church. Going beyond collaboration, we are called to co-responsibility. Before now, we just say we collaborate, but now we are saying let us be co-responsible. That, that, that is, you are responsible for the church as I am responsible. Not growing, you are responsible. So we must take responsibility. And I am sure you have come here in order to take responsibility. Am I right? Yes. So let us all take responsibility. For to be able to, you know, contribute effectively to the church, you must know your church. Know your church and know your faith. Know your church and know your faith. Because you cannot give what you don't have. We must know our church. You know, our church has a long history. And we must learn that history. We have so many doctrines which we must know about. At the end of the Holy Mass, the meeting continued with the recognition of guests and dignitaries, followed by the opening prayer. The outgoing president, Charles Nwonwa, addressed all attendees. Lost to interact informally, formally fraternize, review, propose, and project ideas that will propel the general lay of Archdiocese of Abuja to more and more achievements. We now have a specified deadline, time, and date for our annual general meetings and elections. As it is today, I can confirm to you that in the year 2026, when the leaders that will march today, their period will come to an end. Our election is going to take place. Exactly. Special thanks and gratitude to God for everything. I want to thank the shepherds of Idas's Abuja for making us part of their success stories. For the clergy and religious, my fellow executive members of this Agui administration, starting from my first fights, the, the chairperson of the day, in her remarks, cautioned against infusion of politics into the affairs of the church. This really should not be what should be found in a place like the House of Rome and the church. For me, church leadership shouldn't be an act or a sign. It should be something that is based on love and compassion. Archbishop Kegama addressed the delegates and advised them on the council's elections. So, it's not in politics, so you are in the church, where we exchange love and holiness. Yes. And in the church, we are in the church, and love and holiness and service. And I hope that you will keep that in mind. And don't elect people for ulterior motives. There were speeches from dignitaries and heads of church associations who promised cooperation towards the growth of Abuja Ashtansison Catholic Lady Council. The Lady, uh, Archbishop, creating these pastoral areas. He's not doing it because uh, he wants to do it or to success, success, exercise his authority, but he's doing it to reach out to the less privileged. Not less privileged that they don't have anything, but people who are far off from town. If you look at the town, the churches in town, they are all the village. But there are places we need to exercise and show the world, yes, we are Christians. Yes, we are Catholics. And laity should be at the forefront. Because we are the ones living in those places. 
is all about us, not just the clergy, not just the religious, not his grace, but us. And when we want something to be done for us, we should make a move. The success story is to say that God started this work with me. Because before I became the Adasan Lady Council President, I didn't emerge from the air or from gathering or in a general meeting. I started from my home. My dinari endorsed me. My dinari formed campaign committee on my behalf. And my dinari turned up in mass on the day I was elected the president of Adasan Lady Council in St. Paul's Parish, Bagolada. Exactly on the 29th day of September 2018. And the, the pledges I made to reposition this council have been fully achieved. Today, I am happy that my people are now showing high level of interest to attend meetings, attend functions, and to also clamor for positions today. So, all the promises and pledges I made to my people of God that I laid for the past four years were fulfilled. Yes, it was not without challenges. And what are the challenges? Challenges are because there is tenorship in this doing this uh, Lady Council work. We are people serve out and go away. In most cases, you see completely new people that do not grow through the ladder in their parishes. Imagine as presidents and secretaries of such parishes. And they do not really operate properly in their parishes. And when they come to other social meetings, they will confirm to you they are doing well. But unfortunately, when I took the decision with my schools to go conducting elections in all the parishes, we discovered so many flaws in the parishes. We are things we aren't done right. We are constitutions and bylaws we are not obeyed. But the feedback we always get from such parish presidents we are always well. So God has helped us to put in a system to expose the right system in the parishes. As you go around now, people are fully aware of what the Lady Council stands for. Just for the parish, the parish uh, priests to see what they can do by ensuring that they create an all-inclusive uh, packaging in their various parishes. So that uh, with that one, coming up with uh, every one of, every parish is having their Lady in their, in their parishes. Yeah, that one alone will take us a very good eye because that recognition will be there and that as a, as a stability will also be there. The lady should have a kind of, um, you know, policy guideline approved by the leadership of the church, whereby the members of all associations play a strong role, both in terms of their time, treasure, talent, and apply to late so that the lady can be really, really very strong. <music>